Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Info on the Go. I'm your host, Dietrich Williams, the navigator, here to help guide you from where you are to where you wanna be. So, you found the house, you put in an offer, offer accepted, and now you're in escrow. There are some things that you should absolutely not do. So let's get into them. Number one, don't change jobs. I know you're thinking, well, I found a better job and it pays more money, that should be great, right? No. So when you applied for the loan, you told the lender that you worked at job A. And when it goes into underwriting, now that you're in escrow, they're going to call job A and verify your income and employment. And guess what? Job A is going to say they don't work here anymore. So that could ultimately raise a red flag that can ultimately delay your escrow. And if the seller is really not feeling that, they can just decide they don't want to deal with you anymore and cancel the contract. So now you're out of the house because you changed jobs. So don't do that. Number two goes along with number one, don't change banks. So along with that, you submitted three to 12 months of bank statements, depending on whether you're W-2 or self-employed and told the lender you bank at bank X. Well, when they go to underwriting, they're not going to find any money in bank X. They're going to wonder where that money is at. And you're going to tell them, oh, it's in bank Y. Well, where did that money come from? They're going to have all kinds of questions and they're going to want you to answer those questions and they're going to want to have bank statements. And again, it could ultimately delay your escrow process, which could, which could cost you the deal. So don't change banks. Finally, and this is probably the most important because I see it happen all the time. Don't go out and get big ticket items on credit. Don't go get the dishwasher, the washing machine and the dryer, the new furniture. And for heaven's sake, do not go out and buy a new car. I know you want to have the shiny new whip to sit in the driveway to let people know how well you're doing, but don't go do that. And here's the reason why. All the way up until you sign the closing documents, your credit is being monitored. And when the underwriter sees where did this new car come from? They're going to say, hey, they've got more debt now, which increases their debt to income or DTI ratio usually between 43 and 48 percent, depending on the lender. And that might ultimately lead them to not loaning you the money. And if you can't get the loan, you can't get the what? Ding, 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 ding. You guessed it. The house. So it can cost you the deal again. So again, to wrap this up, don't go get a new job. Don't change banks. And please don't go get big ticket items like a new car. OK, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe because I've got more videos of how to go through the real estate process to guide you along the way okay and share this share this with your family members and friends because they may need this to save their deals too stuff that sometimes we just don't know all right so again dietrich williams i thank you for tuning in to another edition of info on the go i'll see you next time